Hey guys, how's it going? Onuch here and welcome to a new episode from the F1 2014 career mode on the channel season 1 and it's time for the 8th round the Austrian Grand Prix around the Spielberg circuit. This is practice where it's actually raining very very hard. You can see the full wet tire over there um, but the weekend, the rest of the weekend was going to be dry. So what I did in practice, well basically nothing. I absolutely did not go out at all. Uh, it kept raining very, very hard. I found it pointless to go out on track, didn't have an R&D objective. I'm not going to waste any mileage on the engine. So, no practice. So what we are going to do is make a very long quali. And so in this quali, I was going to get my first experience with this track then, uh, of the weekend. As we see here quickly that I'm going to make a, a setup. So this is uh, what I first went with. And I'm sure we will make uh, further adjustments later on in the session depending on the feeling I get going for six laps and actually on the prime tire as well uh, just this is all to, just to get a few I mean this first practice session or this first quality uh, session is long enough to uh, do some laps get a few for the car make some changes go out again on the uh, super soft tire to set a really good lap time and then hope we get in Q2 into Q2 so yeah as I said just fun pointless to run in practice so that's why I didn't do it so we're gonna go into quality and this is uh, the first lap then of the weekend. So we'll see how it goes. Obviously I, uh, I am on the prime tire, six laps of fuel. By the way, you will, s you will notice that my steering wheel moves quite a bit around right here. Let watch this. There. There's a little bit of a, of a tweak over there. And there actually will be another tweak with the wheel coming up uh, into the next corner as well, I believe. There's basically a glitch within the game where um, at some points on this track, I think there's in Monaco as well a little bit. Right there, you saw it there. Um, there's a, a little bit of a glitch where uh, you go out on track and the steering wheel pulls to the right hand side over here. Watch this. There it does a little bit so it comes so unexpectedly and uh, it's hard to explain unless you really experience it yourself. But basically before the entry of some corners, the next corner has it as well, there's some force pulling to the wheel and it pulls uh, to the outside of, of, the, of, the, of the corner so not to the apex and it's very very annoying and it disappears after a couple of laps but it is there uh, in every single uh, session at the beginning at least so that's why you see that well, yeah, our first lap we put in is a 112.4 so uh, puts us up in fourth place at the moment and we're gonna keep on going of course and uh, keep, uh, keep on improving this first corner here is very very hard to not extend um, it's gonna be a challenge for me to not do that actually in my quali laps if I do it um, I was very easy actually on, on the extending here I mean it's uh, in some ways unavoidable inevitably in that first corner so uh, usually I'm pretty strict with the corner extents but to be honest on that first corner you know obviously a huge ex extent is not good but a, a centimeter or two doesn't bother me that much uh, at least not for this uh, first corner and I hope you guys uh, understand that so this is the second lap then and uh, we're gonna go and focus a little bit more on the driving after I have done all my talking now and all the things that I wanted to say so about six tens up <coughs> excuse me about six tens up in our previous lap three tens down on pseudo at the moment who has done a 111.1 one. it's actually very now who is uh, in the uh, first position then so come through the final sector these two corners here the final two corners are just simply amazing they are two fantastic corners they are so flowing so super nice to uh, go through as, as a driver it's unbelievable really very uh, nice corners that's for sure very very fun very quick you go down the gear turn in and uh, usually the grip is really good there if, you, uh, if, the, if the car really does what you want you will have an amazing sector there so that's uh, really easy to see whether you have set up the car right when the front end just turns in there like you know, the way you want it you set up the car right because uh, this track is very very important for uh, your front end as we pick up some slipstream for the Mercedes from the Mercedes is there and Vettel getting into the way okay so this lap is uh, spoiled then going to back out of it. it wasn't quick anyway in the first sector as we are going to start another lap right now so two DRS zones I think yep two DRS zones around the strike one of them is right over here so we're gonna go down the uh, down to the first corner break out one on the main board go down to third gear and I can hit the inside curve much much more than I do there Still learning the track a little bit. Two left of few remaining, so we can still keep on going. Uh, currently having having an 11.6 on the boards. With uh, well, going to improve the probably this lap as we are 6 100s up in the first sector. Second year or so right here, opening up the US once again. 
and we head down into the next corner which is a very tricky corner it goes downhill uh, under braking and uh, it's up to you to find the apex you can take a late apex what you don't want to do is what I did there just have a big lock up going way too deep in there you can take an early apex run, let the car run out wide or you can take a late apex and carry more speed onto the little straight that's uh, coming off of that and we come to the ending of the middle sector, two tenths down, currently entering the final sector then right now. Uh, very important, uh, two corners there, that left-right uh, combination. And we go to the penultimate corner here, as I said, a brilliant corner. Missing my apex there though, uh, thanks to that I decided to go into the pit. A little bit of an uh, easy go paint entry, but I'm sure you guys aren't too bothered. So here we go, changing uh, actually one thing on the setup only, and that is the front wing. Once that be worth the front end yet. We went on the super soft tire, so that's going to help. So four two wings right now. Let's uh, go again. Now, oh, we have a big overstep moment there, opening up the DRS and doing another lap. We are currently in 18th place. It's not going well at the moment. Let's be honest, but we still have plenty of time, more than five minutes, to uh, actually set the lap time. So much better first corner there. Then the car uh, run out wide, get early on the throttle, and that was a pretty sweet first corner. That first corner is all you want to nail in this first sector because there isn't much more to it. And breaking on the one on the B board, actually just off the one on the B board, slow it down to second gear, two and a half tens up at the moment. And then once again you open up the DRS. Pick up a little bit of slipstream from the car ahead, but it's too tilt. But we certainly need to improve here. Maldonado is currently in 16th place, so that's the cutoff point with a 115, or sorry, 11.5. Uh, Excuse me, messed up there. And that was a pretty, pretty sweet corner. Now we come up to this very long left hand, and this is very tricky. Uh, I found it very tricky in this tour also. Um, you can take 5th gear, but you can also take 4th gear as they're running out too wide, getting crowds on the tire. That compromises my grip, uh, the grip that I have through that corner still. 8 ends up though, so a pretty good lap so far, with just 2 more corners to go. Get it to turn it at the one on the board, go down to gears, down to 5th gear. Let it run out wide as, as wide as you can without extending, hitting the curb there. Once again, let the car run out wide and open up the DRS for the run to the line. It's, this is a lap, uh, well, a better lap, 110.8. 8 ends up and puts us up in 8th place, so not too shabby. And uh, we keep on going. Once again, getting early on the throttle over the exit of turn one. That's really the main thing you want to do because of this uh, straight following up. That was a pretty good first sector. Let's see how it compares. Okay, two one hundred is down, but we know we can improve in the final sector. Uh, didn't have the best uh, final sector in that last lap. So let's try to improve on that. I'm also currently in first place. Cannot see his lap time. We're going to want to meet the meter board, as you can see they're going a little bit too deep in there. Although you do not really want to touch the curb because it can unsettle the car, get some oversteer and then you need to uh, wait to st for the car to stabilize before you get on the throttle. Once again, not I'm never hitting that curb really, once again I go on the cross, but I'm up though, 2 100 is up now. And look at that, getting early on the throttle, but I had some cross on the tire, compromising the grip once again. So I'm struggling a little bit with the front end grip. Then, 2 more corners to go, once again. Get it to learn in there, taking a lot of speed on the corner, entry deal is very good, once again carrying a lot of speed through that corner, opening up the DRS for the run to the line, once again, this lap was a pretty good lap, let's see, 110.7 puts us up in 7th place, then climbed another place, 1000 down on Jesse Button, who is in 6th place, and that was pretty much it for this session, I believe, as I let uh, uh, Williams through there, that is Massa. And that's indeed it for the session, so I didn't find, uh, well, I found no point running again in 10th place. Our teammate is in 14th, so we are both through to Q2. Very good. And this is Q2 then, so not too bad. I think uh, that was the right approach for Q1. I still had plenty of time left as well. But it was definitely good to go on the prime tire first. Do not waste any of the option tires. Get a few for the car. And then after that, just push. So this is Q2 now. And we're going to go for it yet again. And this Q2, se Q2 session is going to be very, very important for us. Obviously, after Ken, uh, the Canadian Grand Prix, which was a very, very bad Grand Prix, I was very eager to perform well here. As we, uh, I think there was a little bit of an extension there. I am uh, not going to pre pretend like I'm blind, but as I said, always I almost hit Grosjean there. As I said, I wasn't really too much bothered. Not in that first corner, though, as we uh, come through a little bit of traffic here with uh, Rosberg as well. 18.4 first sector. Not too bad, but I decided to back out of it because of the traffic. And then go for it again, save some of the tires, save some fuel, and go for it again, as I said. So, but I'm currently in pole position, or, well, not really pole position since it's Q2, but you know what I mean, in first position with a 109.9. So, we're getting into, or at least the AI is getting into the 1.9, it's another extension there. Um, but as I said, I hope you guys understand it. I do not find it really such a big problem for turn one at least. So, 
this should be the lap then 700 sub on the well on the time we've said before but we obviously abandoned that lap so we had some traffic so not too bad at all uh, 0.3 in that first sector that's a uh, pretty decent I should say now we come up uh, to the second sector here Try get a one on the me board slow the car down that was actually really good slow the car down nicely had a good front end new turn in and now this corner here see I'm not really hitting the apex now I am though taking a late apex do not run the car out too wide so you get cross on your tire and we are currently six tens down on Raikkonen as we come through the final sector now so let's see just two more corners to go you want to go in here with a lot of aggression a lot of uh, temptation really and uh, that was really good final corner to go go a gear down running it out wide and once again run to the line one 10.7 puts us up in 7th place, we need to improve though if we want to go to Q3 and I really really wanted to go to Q3 as I made a mistake in turn 1 breaking too late so we back out of it and let Rosberg through. Hamilton now with a 109.4, we are going to go for it yet again, we are in the drop zone currently in the 30th place, that was a good first corner, did an accent, it got early on the floor as well I believe, uh, we are firm in the 14th place behind us, so the only positive thing at the moment is that we are in front of our teammate but that's really it. I mean, we want to go to Q3 here. Six uh, 100 sub on our previous time. Hitting the curb there a bit too much. You could see there. Had to step on the wheel there. And we got past Grosjean there. Who led us through nicely. And Bottas currently in 10th position with the cutoff point. And we surely need to improve here. So breaking pretty late here. Getting the car to turn in. Actually touching the... Uh, the curb and as you saw there I had a bit of oversteer and that is really thanks to touching that curb and also the car slightly as I said before and now we come to the final part of sector 2 running it out wide once again 2 tenths up that's much better 2 tenths down on Bottas with uh, the final sector to go now he uh, never really seemed to hit the chicane we just went through need to improve there I think now final sector to go and I go way on the grass way way on the grass for the corner entry that is just a concentration mistake we back out of it, go into the pit lane once again, and try again. So there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders now. You have only two more laps, I think, to, to do it. So, well, we're in 13th place. I really, really wanted to go to Q3. I really wanted to do so. But we're going to give it another shot here. So here we go, coming through the first corner. Got early on the throttle. That was um, okay-ish. So we now come up to the second uh, or the first sector split. Let's have a look. Ooh. That is a very good first sector, just over a tenth up. Also a very good exit here, letting the car run out wide, opening up the DRS then for the run to the next corner. As I said, breaking downhill, very hard to slow the car down. Let's see if I touch the curb on this occasional lap. Breaking pretty early, has to be said. Touching the curb, preferring exit speed here. Shifting up to fourth gear, shifting up to fifth gear. And then approaching the next gear, even up to uh, sixth then. Next corner here. That was good, stay to the inside, three tenths up, now this is a very good lap so far, hitting the curb here, running, uh, letting, the car run out, uh, letting the car run out wide without going on the grass, because that will co definitely compromise the grip you are going to get now, two more corners to go, way too far off the apex there though, lost some time there, probably about a tenth or so, maybe two tenths, but sliding through the final corner, that was pretty good, opening up the DRS once again, it's going to be a one ten point three, four tenths up, but it's not enough, we are in P11, just one more lap to go I think, because uh, otherwise we will run out of fuel. Once again, sliding through that first corner. It was okay-ish, but because of the slide, we couldn't really get on the throttle as early as I wanted to go. And indeed, we are only going to get one more lap, I think. Here we go. First sector split. Ooh, about a tenth down. Oh, we're gonna have to push really, really hard here. But the positive thing is that we are still up on Bottas. Opening up the DRS once again. So this is the final lap. We need to nail this one if we want to go to Q3. Otherwise, it's all over for us. Get on on me, but slowing the car down. Very, very good corner. Very good corner. Indeed, really, really good. I have to say. Take a lot of speed into there. Also got early on the throttle. Now down to fourth gear once again. A little bit of a slide there, but that was okay. A tenth up. We are a tenth up. Gained about two tenths in that sector. Going on the grass though. On the exit of that corner. But it's the inside uh, tire which has the grass on it. So it's not too bad. Now final two corners. Hitting the apex much better. That was great. Carrying a lot of speed through there again. Through the final corner. Carrying a lot of speed. A bit of a slide there. The opening up the right now for the run to the line. Will be enough. It is enough. One ten point oh Puts us up in 10th place. And huge relief there. I was so, so happy with that lap. I mean, once I said, there was a bit of pressure on your shoulders. Because after the Canadian Grand Prix, which was so, super disappointing. I really, really wanted to prove myself here. And showed 
um, that you know I, I I could you know be quick and, and have the speed, and that was the case here. So I think that was uh, a one ten point oh, and as I said, really happy with that lap. Puts us up in tenth place, uh, which is then just uh, uh, you know just enough to get into Q three. So uh, really happy with that. Then in Q three, I decided to only go for one run. Um, I honestly didn't really find the point to do two rounds because. I think P10 would be the maximum anyway, so I was even thinking about not, you know, running uh, a lap here. But then I saw that Hamilton only did a 19.7, and you know I knew that I did a 110.0 in Q2, and I thought that I, you know, I still could improve uh, with a perfect lap. Lap I could go into the 19. So you know, I thought let's uh, give it a go. Obviously in Q3, I think when you go in Q3, you get a new set of tires available to you. Which is very nice. Obviously, we will start on the saddle from Q2 uh, in the race, and uh, as you can see, you're coming through my uh, outlap. What I usually do in the outlap is go very slowly in the first two sectors, just save some tire wear, and then in the first sector, push a little bit more, try to get some temperature into the brakes and tires. So we have some grass on the uh, on the inside tire, though. That's not uh, good. Not uh, perfect conditions to start the lap time, but it will wear off. So that's not really that much of a problem. So here we go. This is going to be our Q3 lap. Opening up the DRS. Then for open up the DRS then for the run to the line. I'm going to be a bit too quick there with my words. Then slowing down for turn one. Hitting the curb there. That was excellent. Excellent exit as well. Got early on the throttle. Hit the curb nicely. It actually unsettled the car. But I needed that to get through the corner quicker, quickly. And uh, now we come up to the next corner. Breaking another one on me. 100 meter board. There's a bit of traffic. And that is Massa. Oh, he gets well in the way. Massa gets well in the way there. I still keep on going, but Massa was on the apex of the corner. As I said, I still keep on going though. I think I have uh, quite a bit of fuel in my fuel tank, so we can do another lap after this one. But he still, as I said, keep on going for this lap. Now, not the best corner there. Uh, I, I, I went a bit too wide on the exit, and I had to wait to uh, get on the throttle again. And um, oh, once again, not great. And I, I decided to back out of it then. I decided to save some fuel. We didn't have the best. Uh, middle sector not the best uh, first sector um, also thanks to uh, Massa anyway the first corner was uh, actually pretty good I thought it was better because we did like a 0.4 first sector I thought it was way better than that but anyway reset your mind and go for it again so 109.7 that's the pole position right now but it might be uh, you know it might get improved so once again come through the first corner let's see how it goes this time that's not great not really that good Lock the tires was too far off the apex, and uh, well, we keep on going, of course. No, we don't. Okay, <laughs> just as I said, uh, I looked at the few. I saw uh, that we had two more laps to go, and this might actually be very, very marginal in terms of fuel. You know, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but uh, I, I decided to back out of it and then go extremely slowly here, do a lot of short shifting, just try to save as much fuel as I can, and go for it again. Hopefully, we'll have enough fuel. Going to mix three, obviously for this uh, lap then and this is then the final lap I can do there's not really a lot of pressure on your shoulders as Hamilton has said a 109.5 although Button is in P9 with a 0.1 so if we can manage to beat our PB here we will actually not be a lost position and that would be something or lost position you know lost position of the session which is P10 finish the first sector just above uh, 100 down on the 11.7 we currently have but obviously we uh, backed out of it then we still keep on going. As I said, this is really the final lap we're going to get in. So break it on on the meat board. Right now, slow the car down. Down to first, uh, third gear. Very good corner. Has to be said. Then get early on the throttle. Up to P, uh, up to gear 5. Up to gear 6. Uh, approaching the next corner. Go down to fourth gear. And I, I slow the car down a little bit too much. You want to carry more entry speed. And then slow the car down. Take a late, ape uh, take a late apex. And thanks to that, I'm only a 10 up. So that is not great at all. And now we go through these final two corners and we run out of fuel. Okay, that is not great at all. We ran out of fuel for the last two corners. Let's see actually what the lap time is like. It's a 110, 111, 110.9. Okay, so in the end, indeed a 10th position, which is a shame. Um, if I really set my PB, I may, I, might, I may have, you know, been in P7, but that's really it. Um, anyway. I'm still happy that we made it into Q3. I'm really, really glad that we did so. 
and uh, yeah overall very happy with Q2 in general not really that pleased with Q3 I should have done a better job there um, but um, in the end yeah a little bit unlucky with the AI but I shouldn't use it as a as an excuse you know it just wasn't good enough so that's pretty much it for this video a dry race is expected and i'm very pleased to see that i hope you have enjoyed this video i'm glad we came in q3 much better than the canadian grand prix obviously let's keep this going in the race as well see you in the race thank you for watching and goodbye